all of you are welcome to today's english time hello my dears how are you i hope you are safe at home i think you are really enjoying our english classes aren't you yes we are discussing beautiful stories poems films etc in the last class we learned a beautiful story what was it yes cinderella did you like the story of cinderella yes she was such a good girl she loved everyone dear children we can see such a loving caring character in our home who is that can you guess yes father mother brother sister okay all of them are loving and caring but who is the most loving one among these yes of course it's our mother my dear friends do you ever think about your mother she always spends her time for us she works for us cooks for us she does everything for us do you agree with me here you have a video let's watch it what did you see my dears yes the different works done by a mother my dear children what are the different kinds of work your mother does at home yes cleaning cooking sweeping washing etc do you help your mother yes i know you are very good children dear friends you have a beautiful poem in your textbook page number 57 what is the title of the poem yes women work who wrote it yeah the poem women work was written by maya angelou she was an american poet dancer singer and an actress let's see more about her now you got a clear idea about maya angelo maya angelo maya angelo was an american author poet dancer singer and an actress she was born in 1928 she is known for her series of seven autobiographies 
Her autobiographies are focused on her childhood and an early adult experiences. The first, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, published in 1970, tells of her life up to the age of 17. She passed away on 28 May 2014. Dear children, please take your textbook, page number 57. Look at the picture. What can you see there? Yes, an image of a woman. Let's hear what the woman wants to say. Are you ready? Yes. Please listen to it. I've got the children to tend, the clothes to mend, the floor to mop, the food to shop, then the chicken to fry, the baby to dry. I got company to feed, the garden to weed. I've got shirts to press, the tots to dress, the can to be cut. I gotta clean up this hut, then see about the sick. And the cotton to pick. Shine on me, sunshine. Rain on me, rain. Fall softly, dewdrops. And cool my brow again. Storm, blow me from here. With your fiercest wind. Let me float across the sky. Till I can rest again. Fall gently, snowflakes. Cover me with white. Cold icy kisses and. Let me rest tonight. Sun, rain, curving sky. Mountain, oceans, leaf and stone. Star shine, moon glow. You're all that I can call my own. Do you understand the poem? Yes, a little bit. Who is the speaker of this poem? Yeah, a woman. What does the woman speak about? Yes, the woman speaks about the different household work she has to do in a day. Does she happy? No. What is the reason? Yes, she is really tired of this daily routine. There is nobody to help her. So, what does she do? Yeah, she requests all the elements of nature to accompany her. Hello, let's read the poem once again. I will read it. When I am reading, you please underline the difficult words and expressions. Okay. Woman work by Maya Angelo. I've got the children to tend, the clothes to mend, the floor to mop, the food to shop, then the chicken to fry, the baby to dry. I got company to feed, the garden to weed. I've got shirts to press, the tots to dress, the can to be cut. I got to clean up this head. Then see about the sick and the cotton to pick. Shine on me, sunshine. Rain on me, rain. Fall softly, dew drops, and cool my brow again. Storm, blow me from here with your fiercest wind. Let me float across the sky till I can rest again. Four gently snowflakes, cow me with white, cold, icy kisses and let me rest tonight. Sun, rain, curving sky, mountain, oceans, leaf and stone, starshine. Moon glow, you are all that I can call my own. Now you understand more about the poem. I think you know down the difficult words. Friends, what's the meaning of the word tent? Here, the word tent means pay attention. Next, the word mend. Mend means repair. Next, the word Press the dress. That means iron the dress. Next, the word toss. That means very young child. Next, the word can. Here, the word can means sugar cane. The other new word is 
gotha it is a slang which means have got to now you got the meaning of difficult words dears let's go back to the poem what are the different household works for the women yes tends children men's clothes mops floor shops food fries chicken dries baby feeds company weeds garden presses shirt dresses taught cuts sugar cane cleans hut treats the sick picks the cot so there are a lot of works for her she gives attention to her children repair their clothes mops the floor she wends for shopping to collect food she fries the chicken she dries the baby that means she cleans the baby she gives company to feed she weeds her garden means remove all the weeds from garden she presses the shirts that is she irons the shirts she dresses the tot means she dresses the baby cuts the can which means cuts the sugar cane then she has go to clean her heart she treats the sick finally she picks the cotton i think now the first part of the poem is clear to you dear children you have an activity related with this take your textbook page number 16 and look at activity number 1 here you have three columns the first one is for women second one is for cinderella and the third one is for you the first column the women we can see one of her works that is tends her children you can add more what was the works for cinderella yes fetch is water okay you know what about the third column you were works yeah go to shop sweep the floor help in cooking yes you can find out more so please complete this table and send to your teacher this is the first activity for you don't forget to do it next let's listen to one of your friend the alakshmi she is beautifully reciting the poem for us okay here is it woman work i've got the children to tend the clothes to mend the floor to mop the food to shop then the chicken to fry the baby to dry i got company to feed the garden to weed I've got shirts to press, the tots to dress, the cane to be cut. I gotta clean up this hut. Then see about the sick and cotton to pick. Shine on me, sunshine. Rain on me, rain. Fall softly, dewdrops, and cool my brow again. Storm, blow me from here. with your fierce wind let me float across the sky till i can rest again fall gently snow flakes cover me with white cold icy kisses and let me rest tonight sun rain cooling sky mountain ocean leaf and stone star shine moon glow you are all that i can call my one you are all that i can call my one thank you how is it yes very nice let's give a big clap to her thank you dialakshmi friends 
now you are also ready to recite it so your second activity is send the audio or video of your recitation okay dear children please look at activity 2 in page number 60 read the following lines from the poem woman work here look at the word tend in line 1 and meant in line 2 what we can see yes both the lines are ends with the same sound we call such words as rhyming words what is a rhyming word yeah rhyming words are two or more words that have the same or similar ending sound it is a literary device used to beautify the poem now you can find out more rhyming words from the poem and fill the lines hello dears today we discuss the poem woman work i know you are really enjoying this poem the activities related with today's class are given below activity number 1 complete the table given in page number 60 activity 2 send the video or audio of your recitation and activity 3 find out more rhyming words from the poem let's wind up today's class here we will meet again in the next class please take care Bye bye.